Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks for taking some time to check today's video out. Got a good one for you guys today. We're gonna to be giving tips and advice on fishing the, the swing head jig worm setup. Now this is something that a lot of people don't do. It's been one of my favorite things for the month of June. So got some good info to pass your way here. So guys, before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys the weekly reminder of a couple, couple things we got uh, uh, going on at Fish the Moment. Uh, you guys know what you heard me talk about our lake map breakdowns. <clears throat> we have these offered on our website. I'll put the link in the description here where we uh, got most of the major lakes across the country. You can uh, actually get a lake breakdown, give you 40 good GPS waypoints to fish on every map with tips and advice. And also uh, we offer virtual lessons. If, you, if there's a lake that's not on our website, you can book a virtual lesson with me. Go over any lake you want to in the country, it doesn't matter how big or small it is, or if you just want to talk fishing and learn about a technique. So I'll put the uh, lessons link and the map breakdown link in the description. So much appreciated. Okay guys, this the swing head jig setup. Guys, we've talked about this. I've done video in the past with the fishing teacher. And if you're not familiar or if you missed that video, a swing head jig is basically what it is. It's just an EWG hook that swings freely on a football head like this. Now this has been one of the most popular techniques for bass fishing over about the last 10 years. And this setup is normally uh, fished with some type of a creature bait on it, you know, just like a, a beaver or a biffle bug or z hog or something like that. And people cast it out and they just slowly reel it along the bottom. And this, you know, the trailer or whatever bait you have on it sort of wiggles like this. And it's really, really good in the month of May and the month of June. It's one of the top producers. Now, most people, probably 95% of the people, they fish a creature bait on it, like we said, but very few people, guys, fish a big worm. And a little tip I'm gonna give you here, this is a Zoom Old Monster old monster Worm. This is one of my favorite things to do in June. And I'll just rig it up just like I would the creature bait here. By the way, I'll put the bait works link in the description. If you guys wanna get any of the heads or the worms here, you guys can get them there. And just rig it just like that. And it's just a big worm setup. It's the same type of place that you fish a Texas rig, except it's a different presentation. The Texas rig, you cast it out and maybe hop it off the bottom like that. Whereas the swing head worm setup, it's just designed to reel slowly across the bottom. And what it does, this big worm, it looks like some type of an eel or leech or snake or something like that. It's crawling on the bottom. Because if you guys have ever watched snakes, like, you know, small snakes in the water, a lot of times they crawl right along the rocks on the bottom and eat, and so do freshwater eels. So um, that's why it's so effective. I prefer, this is the red bug color here, but a lot of guys prefer the black because most of the eels are black. So, um, but I've caught a lot on this red bug. So anyway, guys, it's just a, it's, not, it's a different look that the fish don't see a lot. Uh, swing head jig, 10 inch worm. And I, I do think that the length of the worm is critical. I've tried it on, you know, six to eight inch worms. And I just seems like I catch more and bigger fish going with the big worm. So give it a try guys. Just another technique to put in your arsenal. And I think it's going to help you all out. We'll see you. 